Hey ladies, it's Marissa here from the 2190 team and today I'm sitting down with Miss Tina Lifford. Hey. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. So Miss Tina is a actress. We've seen her on Queen Sugar, Aunt Vi. We've seen her on Scandal. She's also an author, an inspirational speaker, and you also have a play called The Circle, right? Yes. Awesome. So yes. we're going to be talking all about all of those things, getting the details behind your story, and we're also going to be making some DIY memo boards. Ooh. Hey, so let's get started. Right, so you have had a ton of experience in the entertainment industry, right? Yeah. And so I'm super interested to know, like, did you always want to be an actress? When did you get your start? Yeah, I definitely have. I think I wanted to be an actress when I came out of my mother's <laughs> womb, tru truly. Um, I My memory goes back to as young as being in the second grade when my mom would take us to see plays and I would leave the play and then act out all the roles, you know, until she took us to see another play. Okay, so you grew up in Illinois. Yes. And um, how did you kind of get into professional acting, right? Like, what do you remember as like your first big break, per se? Wow, that's <laughs> funny. Because my first big break was the line, thank you very much, in Knott's Landing. My father told me that I didn't want to be an actress because actors didn't make any money and uh, were on drugs. What? <laughs> and so, and so, you know, being a daddy's girl, I sort of believed him, and acting uh, became this this passion uh, that I would do on the side because I like making money, right? Right. So right. I was gonna go down the road of being a publicist, um, you know, by day, and then just act on the side. And Bill Duke, uh, when he broke into directing, he called me one day and said, uh, I want you to come in and read for uh, this maid in uh, Knott's Landing. And I got it. And then probably a couple of months later, uh, they brought me back again. And this time I wasn't the maid. I don't know how they did that. <laughs> I, became, I became the character Tina and then they recurred me for a number of times and I was solidly bitten by the acting bug. Would you say that there has been other like pivotal moments in your career where you kind of had to step outside your comfort zone in order to get, get to the next level? Oh my God, um, I have the career that I have today because in the fifth grade I had a terrible experience with stage fright. The roster for the talent show was handed out at 10 a.m. And when I saw my name at the top of the list, I went, oh! uh -oh. and fear just locked in. And by time the talent show came around at like one or two, I was, I had worked up such a fear around being on that stage that literally when I got on the stage, I froze. And they literally had to pick me up like a little cardboard and carry me off stage. Oh my goodness. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And acting is the only thing I ever wanted to do. So I now believe that that experience was sort of a gift because I had to learn and it took years. It took decades for me to learn how to unwire my automatic reactions towards fear with regards to auditioning. So even through that experience of stage fright, right, your, your work clearly paid off because here you are as Aunt Vi in Queen Sugar, who's smart, sexy, sassy, she's like everybody's favorite character, right? Like, what would you say is your favorite part about playing this character? What I love about playing Aunt Vi is that so many people see themselves in Aunt Vi. And if they don't see themselves in Aunt Vi, then they see someone they love in Aunt Vi, or they want to be Aunt Vi. So the opportunity of playing someone that ignites such an aspirational quality uh, and that speaks to love in a way that has people 
you know, stopping me on the street and just wanting a hug, mm -hmm. that's, that, that's butter. <laughs> <laughs> that's butter. Absolutely. How did the Inner Fitness Project come into your life? Like, when did you develop this? Well, I, I actually um, say that it's connected to the stage fright, you mm -hmm. know, because when you want um, to live your best life, to rise to the level of, in my journal, um, I wrote, how can I be a respected, sought after actress? How can I be a respected, sought after actress? I believe in writing everything that you desire down because it's the first place in the universe where your desire becomes concrete. Mm -hmm. And so that writing it in your journal actually acts as a magnet. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. That's great to be able to take the things that you've learned, right, that have helped you be successful and to teach someone else, right? Absolutely. So where did your book come into play? There were just, like the book is, is 14 stories and within each story, there is a um, concept that transformed my life. Mm. And so, uh, and then at the back end of each story, there are actual to-dos, um, to-dos that I offer, suggestions that I offer. I'm really about the to-dos. You know, what can you do to transform your life? And so the little book of big lies, um, and I actually, I brought you a book. Oh my goodness, I brought yes. you a book. So this is the little book of big lies. Perfect. That's yours. Thank you. Yes, yes, oh yes. God. So I want you to literally let me know, you know, uh, give me your feedback on that. I definitely will. Mm -hmm. These are my favorite things to read. And I'm so glad that you talked about like instilling the, like how do I actually make this change? Yeah. Yeah. You know, cause I do feel like there's tons of like inspirational things and motivational yeah. things, but in order to make a real change in your life, you gotta know like some tangible things. So clearly like, you know, your mindset, your ability to kind of just take your experiences and figure out how to make yourself better from them has allowed you to be the strong woman you are right now, right? Mm. But you're also like just beautiful and glowing and like heels are popping, right? <laughs> so I feel like there's some outer fitness happening too, right? <laughs> so like what is your kind of like skin routine, like your workout routine? Is it water? Like what are your secrets to just staying holistically healthy? Okay, if you say holistically healthy, uh, it does. For me, it, it starts with the inner work. Mm -hmm. uh, in terms of the outer regimens, lots of water. Yes. I drink mm -hmm. lots of water. I also walk every day. Mm -hmm. I, will, I will drive and park my car blocks away from where I'm going and then walk to where I'm going and then walk back to my car so that I can get in those 10,000 steps. Um, I don't like gyms, so you're not gonna find me, you know, sweating, and, <laughs> and that's not me. But you will find me on a mountain. I actually break life down into three selves. That's part of the, like, my signature workshop is called Self, Self, Self. And just in a little nutshell, uh, it says that we have these range of consciousness inside of us. And one is the surviving self, one is the thriving self, and one is the infinite self. And each has characteristics. And we, when we know what the characteristics are, we can actively and consciously work on those characteristics and strengthen them. So my best life is about thriving and it's about expanding. So I use everything that comes into my world as an opportunity to grow and expand. Everything that, that happens in my life, whether it you know, falls under most people's category of good or, or bad, unfortunate or you know, uh, fortunate, I use it as a way of thriving. Yes. Growing, expanding, moving into more of who I am. Awesome. That's when I'm having fun. I'm rolling my sleeves up. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay, so we've got our plywood, 
We've got some chalkboard paint, which is super cute. All right, and this is mine over here? Yes. Okay. And then we have these foam paint brushes right All here. All right. This is a super, super easy and cheap DIY. Okay. So we wanna start with light coats. Okay. So that we don't <laughs> like put too much paint on it because then it'll take forever to dry. Okay. And we wanna All right. put so our little is. notes and everything on there. I feel like this is great because you were just talking about writing things down, putting things in your journal because, you know, it's the magnet, right? Is yes. what you said. Yes, yes, that's a, that's a great idea. You know, then you can actually create, um, what kind of board did you call this? A memo board. Well, you can call it an intention board. Oh, right. I like that better. Yeah. Okay, these are intention boards, guys. So, <laughs> that means that you can use the board and write down the different intentions that you have for different uh, aspects of your life. Man. I'm this... liking my board. I'm liking my board. I, I, I need to catch up. <laughs> oh my goodness. And I even think that my board should have its edges oh, yeah. done. So it's totally chalkboard paint. Okay, step two. Okay. So we are gonna put these elastic bands across the board. Yes. So that we can hold our little notes and photos and things like that inside. And the key to this is making sure the bands are just like extra taut. Taut, okay. So they wrap tightly around the boards. I like, I like. Let me get mine popping. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm going to weave this. In fact, I'm going to start here, go over like that. No, I think I'm going to go on top and then under and on top. I like, I like, I like, I like. Okay, so our boards are so cute. I'm like so excited about these. Oh, I like that. I love this. This is so much fun. Oh, I like that purple. Oh, this is, this is lovely. I'm so glad I came to 2190 yes. and got myself a wonderful little chalkboard See? made by my own Absolutely. two little hands. Absolutely. Okay, ladies, so now you have everything you need to make your own memo board. It was so great talking to you. Or intention board. Or intention board, mm -hmm. right? That's what we're calling it. So my intention is to live my best life, okay? Mm -hmm. And I want you guys to make your own memo boards, create your own intentions, and until next time, live your best life. <laughs>